Seems that Singer that Sing C is overperforming, but this movie, according to the fandom S and even myself, was supposed to flop. I said this movie would probably be one of the worst openings in the MCU, and this is basically comparing comparisons to Mulan, and people had done it. People were done with you know Disney and Hollywood pandering towards China and the Chinese government. But this movie is performing very much the same as F9, which again is performing basically the same. And the difference between Sing C and F9 is Sing C is opening for a four day weekend. Yep, a four day weekend. Kind of like how I Quiet Place had a four day weekend. Sonic had a four day weekend. Sonic opened to like 60 million outside the four three day weekend. And it opened to an enormous like 70 million plus weekend. Quiet Place Part 2 opened to 55 million and it is estimated to bring in 67.8 million yen on the free day measure, which is the first best of all the COVID openings, only be behind Black Widow and F9. And of course, in C as a four day weekend, it also counts 40, 23 million, you know, for 46 million for 40, 53 million global first day. Is number one on all markets, but the fandom man said, "Oh my God, it's underperforming Black Widow so badly." But it's outside movies like Ant Man and and other so MCU movies, this is not a you know Black Widow was different. Black Widow they kind of launched a movie about a character that was already dead. Saint C, they're introducing this new character. And apparently, people actually like this movie. Sing C is making money at the box office. This is something the fandom mess is gonna not want to hear because they have been pushing that Sing C is gonna be this big flop, and Marvel is done for. That's what they have been pushing throughout the past month. They've been pushing that superhero movies are done for, and the future of Hollywood is pandering towards the fact that the fandom menace wants and pandering towards their demand. And all of the boycotts seem to fail and fail. And the movies that they promote, like Space Jam and New Legacy, flop. It's just ironic that they said Space Jam and New Legacy was a masterpiece, even though nobody else said it was. They were acting like Space Jam and New Legacy was like the greatest thing since Milk Toast, thus because the movie beat Black Widow. That's how much they hate Black Widow. They hate, they basically tried everything in their power to make Black Widow flop. And it still didn't flop. That's the ironic part because the movie still made a lot of money on Disney Plus. It's going to make a lot of money through other means as well. So, as well. So, how exactly was High Sing C or Flop? Oh, Sing C is the third highest opening with 29.9 million, with slightly, with slightly being behind F9. We might have a Opening very similar to F9, the Fast Saga. Again, this is a four-day weekend. A four-day weekend was, again, the fan of it. Oh, we opened to 60 million, so we were right. But, again, it's a four-day weekend. Okay, four-day weekend includes 72 million, which means this is the highest grossing railway day weekend of all time, which is extremely impressive, first of all. I, first of all, first of all, railway day weekend is typically the worst Weekend for movies. It is the worst weekend besides the weekend after New Year's. The weekend after New Year's and Labor Day are typically the worst weekend. You never will really see movies released on Labor Day and the weekend after, you know, the holidays because they are just abysmal weekends for movies. And typically the highest grossing movies on those weekends are holdovers. They usually holdovers. And, they, and mostly the entire month of August is a terrible week. Month for movies because kids are going back to school and, and you know, other things are happening. You know, if people spend less time with their kids because, of course, they go to school. And, yeah, it's pretty much harder to go see movies at all. And, yep, Sing C was in the Ten Wings. Now, playing Vita's, this is a little advertising for it, but it is essentially... Breaking what the fandom menace is basically talking about. So, but we don't know. But the problem is, saying C, we don't know the budget for saying C. I actually got to look it up right now. 
you know, and again, there's a lot of movies that, you know, I said would flop but actually made money, okay, Sing C might be the super hit of the MCU, which wouldn't be surprising at all. So Sing C costed $150 million to make, so it needs to make $300 million to make. So currently at this moment, Sing C is, as it stands, they want, oh, of course the numbers doesn't have international sales, it's at $54 million. As it stands, it is losing $250 million. As it stands, like right this second, movie is losing $260 million. Basically, but it is basically, you know, breaking expectations, breaking all records. You know, again, it isn't surprising because Raver Day is the, no one releases movies on Raver Day. Nobody releases movies on Raver Day. So it's typically a weekend. To avoid a movie release. The last movie that really made bank on Waver Day was the Halloween reboot. And that was only a $40 billion opening. And typically, you know, they try to avoid opening these movies. Uh, opening any movies on Waver Day. You know, but it seems that, no. It is possible to open a movie on Raver Day and not lose a ton of money because nobody goes see movies on Raver Day. Day. And yep, there we go. Apparently, Sing C is overperforming at the box office, even more so than people thought it would. Just remember this article Pirates and Presidents is part of, again, it's a fan of Menace website. Projected the flop of 45 million to 55 million opening weekend. And it is opening the 60 million opening weekend. And that is just, of course, in the free day market. It is projected to open to 70 million plus for the four day weekend. And that's, of course, excluding international sales, which is likely open to 50 to 60 million dollars overall. Which means if you really think about it, it will open, it will already make half of its money back. It is needed to make its money, essentially. Which, again, means that Marvel is not dying. Marvel is not dying. Of all these people who are saying that Marvel isn't dying, the critics and fans love this movie. The only people who really don't like Saint C, of course, are the fandom menace. And that's why the fandom menace is dying. Nobody, I have not seen Saint C, but everybody's saying this movie is amazing. If you like martial arts, if you like Dragon Ball, if you like, you know... For example, if you're a fan of, like, Dragon Ball Z. This is, like, the closest you'll get to Marvel... To Goku in the MCU. This is like the closest you'll get to. Jackie Chan movies in the MCU. And. You know. It seems that you know. This movie. Without you know China. Without you know Winnie the Pooh. Is going to make money. It's going to make You know. That's why I've been saying this movie was going to flop. But I was saying because I was saying. Oh yeah this movie. That, that, that Disney is going to. That no one's going to watch this in America. And that Disney is hoping and banking. That this movie would make. $100 million, $200 million in China because, oh, there's Chinese man in this movie about China. You can make $200 million or something like that. But it seems that even with the Delta variant, Saint C is making money. And Paramount is a bunch of pussies. Goodbye.